Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today I get to review one of my favorite motor coaches. This is a 2018 Numar Essex 4531. I absolutely love this floor plan. It's wide open, you have the dual opposing slides with two couches, perfect for entertaining, large spacious kitchen, you have a bath and a half with a double vanity and a spa-like shower. Let's actually start off on the floor here. This year for 2018, they have the wood, uh, kind of high polished wood look porcelain tile floor. It's absolutely beautiful. And not only do you have it in the main living area, but you'll also see that it has the Numar More Floor System, where even in the slide right here, it allows you to have the tile running all the way through. So you don't have any carpet in this entire coach. That's definitely a great thing, not just for because it's easier to clean, but for resaleability as well. Because as you know, that's always one of the areas that gets really dirty is right there in the slides and you certainly don't have to worry about it here. But not only do we have a gorgeous floor, take a look at the ceiling. You have these beautiful ceiling treatments here, really gives it that high-end classy look. LED lights are abundant on the ceiling and throughout the coach to be honest, which really helps brighten things up and makes it light and airy, especially in conjunction with the light furniture. Underneath these treatments here are your AC units. So the cool thing about that is it hides those ugly ducts again, giving it that streamlined look. And when your slides are in, you still get full AC right here. It can heats up or it cools down this space nice and evenly. So I really like what Numar has done. We take a look over here on the kind of kitchen slash living room slide. You'll see you have this little uh, kind of end table, end table right there for who's ever sitting on the couch, just pretty cool. Nice spot to put down an extra beverage. A Little bit of storage right underneath that too. You can see that in the sides of the slides right here, there is an accent light, so it really makes that pop. Very cool design though in the 2018 here. I really like what they have done. If we take a look uh, across the top, you will see storage across the top here as well. Again, beautiful cabinetry. It actually has what they call unitized cabinetry construction. I'll show you a good example of it in a little bit here, but essentially folks, they hand sand it and you can't even tell that it's different pieces of wood. Right up top here is some storage, as I mentioned, you'll see it does have the carpet on there. So that way your items aren't sliding around all over. You'll have the same thing right over here. Again, nice storage area. In between the two, however, this is your DVD player. You'll see that right there. And then your satellite hookups are along that back wall. Right up top here is your sound bar for a great theatered experience. And of course, the TV then is directly underneath. The TV is on what they call a Televator, which essentially is a TV elevator. I know, super clever name, but it is very functional. Push a button, obviously it hides away. It's almost, uh, you, you almost can't hear it. It's basically silent, which I do like. It's a lot of it, a lot of them in, you know, some fifth wheels and some of your travel trailers are really, really loud. Certainly not the case in here. Behind that, you have the window, big open window to let in the natural light. Both day and night shades around the entire coach. And not only are they push button, but they are one touch. So you just touch a button, you can walk away. You don't have to sit there and hold it. Touch a button, it does the rest. And the buttons I'm referring to are these right here, which is your multiplex system. So you can see, you'll see these uh, throughout the coach and they'll all be a little bit different because they generally are coordinating to whatever room you are in. For example, this one here is for your kitchen living room shades. This one over here will be for some of your lights again in this space. Speaking of lights, you do have lights underneath the cabinets as well as here on the walls to help brighten that space up. Again, in case you have the TV dropped. Uh, 48 inch TV, I might add. The control for it is actually on the other side because that's generally where you'll be sitting to watch it and I'll show you that a little bit later. Right here in the center is the uh, Villa Sofa. This is one of two 68 inch sofa here. Both of sides do have footrests, so that way you can just kind of sit back and relax. It's quite comfortable. And there's also two seatbelts here as well. So if you need a couple additional riders, you can have them set right there. You also have electrical outlets on both sides, so that way the riders can plug in cell phones, tablets, any other electronic devices that they may want while traveling. Stepping back a little, get, a little bit, we get into the gorgeous kitchen. You can take a look here. Beautiful solid surface countertops with the dripless edge. 
So what that means is if you spill water on here, you can see it's raised up a little bit. That way it's not going to spill down your floor. It stays on your countertop, making cleanup a lot easier. You kind of have the rail here going up top and then you know the rest of your countertop right down below kind of gives it you know a nice aesthetic piece plus a little bit more usable space if you want to set you know some glasses up there some bottles uh, maybe some spices in the back or really whatever you want but uh, i do like the look there you also see the beautiful backsplash they have all the way across the back here so uh, you know that's going to be probably a little more decorative than functional as it sits back away from the cooktop but it definitely does make the kitchen pop Another thing that helps with the appeal of the kitchen and making it pop is all the LED lights. You have a couple over here, but take a look over here, folks. You have six, no, I'm sorry, seven lights just right here in this area. So it really brightens up your kitchen sink area. You have uh, three electrical outlets. You'll have two over here, another one over here. So plenty of places to plug in your blender, toaster, whatever else you need to plug in here in the kitchen. Speaking of plugging in, let's take a look at the cooktop. So it does have covers, that way you can utilize all this as prep space. When you flip it over, you will see that you have the cutting board on the bottom here. So it's not just beautiful, it's also functional. And then that will reveal your two burner true induction cooktop. I personally like induction cooktops, they heat up faster, cool down quicker, just overall a uh, better cooktop in my opinion. The thing I really love about this one though, if you take a look right here, you'll see you have cutouts. You can actually take this out, unplug it, and you can take this outside. That's super cool, especially if you know, you're going to be cooking something that smells a little bit. Maybe you're cooking salmon, maybe you're cooking bacon, you don't want to stink up the coach or splatter grease all over. Not a problem. Take it right outside, hook it up out there, and you are good to go. So I think that was uh, definitely a pretty cool addition. Now, as I mentioned, you do have the cooktop covers here. You also have sink top covers. So if we take a look right over to the side, right over here, we can remove these. And it's kind of a, a very unique shaped bowl. I think this is really cool. Uh, it kind of, again, helps make the kitchen pop, but that is a huge single bowl stainless steel sink. LK Sink, by the way, folks, if you're not familiar with uh, you know, stainless steel manufacturers, they're not all made equal. LK makes a very nice sink. It's a thicker gauge. It's also very deep, so that way you can set your pots and pans down in there. Delta faucet here too. This is a pull-out faucet, so again, it makes washing and rinsing dishes a lot easier. Uh, it's a, a touchless faucet, so high end, you can just kind of touch it. You can see a little light down here. That way you know it's working. You can just kind of touch it like that. It'll turn on and off pretty cool. Uh, if we take a look underneath, right over here, you have a bank of four drawers. We'll open that guy up. You can see all the remotes right in there. Now, of course, this will probably be for your silverware, so just where the manufacturer puts it. But uh, the thing I love about this, folks, take a look at the construction, the quality of the drawers. Take a look right over here. This is not stapled, folks. This is, uh, you know, actually well-constructed residential grade. They have uh, dovetails in there, which is exactly what you want. You know, when you're looking at high-end cabinetry, having those dovetails is kind of that uh, signifying marker. But you have all four drawers there running down. Right underneath the cooktop, you have another drawer right here. And then underneath that is your Fisher and Paykal dishwasher. So if you, you know, are looking to make things a little bit easier on the dishwashing side, you can certainly throw them right in here. Again, makes life pretty easy. If you take a look underneath, you can kind of see the LED uh, rope lights there. That is your, uh, part of your courtesy lights. You have them in here, you have them in the bedroom and in the bathroom as well. And those are pretty nice too. So at night you can just turn those on. That way you don't have to have all the lights on in the coach. They're not super bright where it's going to be annoying. But it is just enough that if you have to get up in the middle of the night or maybe your guest does to use a bathroom, they can see without tripping over anything. Right down here underneath the sink, this little guy drops down. So you know this runs the whole length, which is pretty cool. And then underneath that, if you take a look at the trash can, it is a covered trash can, which is pretty handy. So that way, again, any smells are you know contained a little bit better than your standard trash can. And then over here, you have this pull-out drawer, so that way you can put you know two or three cleaning chemicals in there, be able to pull those out. Another little storage area over to this side there. You have this uh, little bin right here, and then right over here again, a smaller storage area there with another pull-out drawer. If we take a look kind of going up around the top here, 
We'll open this guy up. You see that all these, again, have the carpet on there. All those are adjustable shelves, folks, so you can move that to whatever works best for you. You'll also notice there's a chain on here, so that way when you open this up, your pull isn't going to smash into your mirror here and break it. Hidden hinges throughout, again, as you would expect on a beautiful coach like this. Large pull-out drawer right up top here, you can see that. This is really effective if you're shorter, uh, because a lot of times you know, it's really hard to reach back in there. This makes it a little bit simpler. Moving a little bit further up here, you have your convection microwave oven. Now, instead of a lieu, a lieu of a normal oven, you get the, uh, the storage there, so I think this is definitely a great option. It is a very large convection microwave oven, and you know the cool thing about convection is that it cooks faster than your standard oven, and it's much easier to clean. Take a look right up top there. Not a ton, but you know, you got a little something there. And then over to this side, you have additional storage again. This is also an adjustable shelf. If we take a look up top, of course, you have your trim running along the top, which is a beautiful look, but you'll also see you have an accent light up there too. So not only do you have it on the ceiling treatments, but you also have it above the slides, again, just helping things pop. Right here is a power vent fan. If you, if you are cooking something in here and it's smelling a little bit or Maybe you don't want to run the ACs, you just want to open up a couple windows, get some airflow through, you can turn that guy on and it will do a good job. So we make our way across over to the driver's side here. We open this up. Uh, you'll see that this is basically the majority of your kitchen storage. This is your big pantry right here. You have a ton of pull-out drawers in here, folks. And again, you know, everything is quality built. Uh, you know, if you take a look there, nothing in here is stapled, which is awesome. It's lit up so you can see very well in there too. Moving over a little bit is your Whirlpool fridge freezer. This is a residential refrigerator. You can see all the storage and you have a freezer down below. You do have an ice maker so you can create your own ice. It has a water filter built in and right here you have a water dispenser. As we take a look at the driver's side slide here, a couple things I do want you to pay attention to. One, you have this really cool accent wall piece right here on the side of the fridge. I really like it. You know, it gives it a lot of texture, a little bit of flair, kind of sets that wall apart from the rest. Another is look how clean this entire wall is. You have the wood here with the ultra leather going around. Yeah, it just gives it that very luxurious look. Couple large windows here too to let in a ton of natural light. Those do open as well, so you can have some airflow coming through. Storage all across the top, and as you would expect, these are, uh, they do have the struts on here for easy one hand operation. Again, the hidden hinges there. And I talked about the unitized construction, folks. I mean, you can, you can see it here, but I'm telling you, when you come and feel it, you cannot tell this is two pieces of wood. They just did a fantastic job on all the cabinetry. Uh, another thing you can't really see, but tucked into the side right here is an electrical outlet if you need to plug anything in. Uh, another cool feature uh, is when we talk about the buffet dinette right here. So you can see that obviously you have all this space, which is great. You have the table. This pulls out in case you have additional guests. There are two more chairs tucked away underneath the bed that you can set up right here. Another thing that I really like about this buffet style dinette though is right over here. And that's the fact that this actually turns into essentially a little office. So what you can do, you drop this guy down right here, pull this out. You can set your keyboard up right here. Underneath that, you have another pull out shelf. So you can have this for a printer, or maybe if you have your tower, you can put your tower here, or you can put the tower underneath. Just gives you a lot of different options, but this basically gives you that homes or that home office setup, which I really like. And then all the way throughout the rest here is great additional storage. So we move forward a little more. Again, you have the multiplex uh, system right here. That is for, again, the lights basically in this slide area, kind of in the living room area. You can see that there. Your accent lights are on there too. And then you have the large villa pullout sofa. Uh, this is an 87 inch sofa, so it is very large. You have the uh, footrests on both sides, so you can just pull that and be able to put your feet up, be able to take a load off. And if you do have those additional guests and they want to stay the night and you want to let them, again, this is a pull-out sofa, so you can pull a bed out here and that way they can have a place to sleep. 
So right outside the bedroom here is the half bath. One of the things I really like about the door, there's a couple of them. One is the handle. So when the slides are in, as you, or I'll show you in a little bit here, when you walk by, you don't have to worry about snagging your pants or anything on the handle. It's very flush and flat, so it is easy to walk through. In order to use it, you just kind of push right up top. That lets you put your fingers underneath, and then you can pull it open just like so. And as you see, it is a pivot door. So again, that allows it to open a lot easier when the slides are in, as well as allows you to enter easily from either direction when the slides are out. If we take a look inside the bathroom itself, we'll start off on the toilet here. That is your Dometic Concerto electronic toilet. Uh, that is a porcelain bowl there too, so it is quite easy to clean. The controls for it there right underneath the uh, countertop. You see some storage over to the side as well as a drawer right above it. And then if we take a look at the uh, countertop itself, you have a very large countertop, solid surface. It matches your kitchen as well as the master bath, absolutely gorgeous, molded in bowl there too, so you don't have to worry about any kind of leaks. And again, that same beautiful backsplash that you have in the kitchen as well. You do have a little bit of storage underneath the sink there, and you can also see your toilet paper holder is mounted on the back of the door. If you look straight up above that, you have your mirrored medicine cabinet that does have a plug in there. So if you want to, you know, need to plug in like an electronic toothbrush or hair dryer, something like that, you can do so. Vanity lights there up top, a window of course to let in some light. Up on the ceiling, you will actually see that you have a vent fan there too. So just like out in the kitchen, power vent fan, it also has that ceiling treatment on it to help keep that luxurious look. And then above the toilet here, you see your main fuse panel as well as the main breaker for the house portion of the coach. As we move into the master bedroom, you do have again dual opposing slides, one of those which contains your king bed. Love having a king bed that we're not elbowing each other in the middle of the night. It's also a sleep number bed, so it's nice and comfortable and that way you can kind of coordinate, you know, who sleeps on what side and adjust the comfort to what is most comfortable for you. Also, you have really nice threads on here. They're gorgeous. You have uh, this fur right here on the bottom, which not only looks cool, but is super soft. And if we open this up, you can take a look underneath. Those are your two foldable chairs right there, folks. And as I said, plenty of storage underneath the bed here. If we take a look on either side of the bed, not only do you have nightstands there, but these are actually wireless chargers, which are really cool. So if your phone is capable of wireless charging, you can set it right on top of there and it will charge it for you. Directly underneath that, you have electrical outlets there with USB ports built into the center. And underneath that, you have additional storage. If we take a look at the headboard here, you see the gorgeous ultra leather headboard that is padded too, so that way you can sit up and read a book. You also have reading lights on both sides. If you take a look underneath the cabinets here, you will see the multiplex system right there, folks. That way you can control a lot of the lights right from uh, the convenience and the comfort of your own bed. You don't have to get up. And then you have storage all across the top here. You also see on the header of the slide, they have this fascia that comes out with three additional, or I'm sorry, five additional LED lights here to really help brighten up the bedroom. And having it come out there just creates, a, a, again, a nice aesthetic pleasing effect. Right on the ceiling there is another window treatment. This one does have three ACs in here, folks. Uh, 15 kBTU on all of those, and they have heat pumps as well. So uh, not only do you have the electric heat pumps here, you also have heated floors in the tile as well. So if you don't want to run the Oasis Hydronic Heat, as long as it's above 40 degrees, your heat pumps will work. Turn on your heated floor here so your bedroom is nice and toasty when you get up in the middle of the night. That's definitely a great way to heat the coach. If we take a look over to the side again, you can really see that more floor right here in this slide. But at the foot of the bed, you have a bunch of storage. You see your six drawers here. And again, I can't emphasize this enough, the great construction of the quality or quality of construction there. 40 inch Sony Bravia TV with your Bose soundbar underneath. Up top here is your DVD player with your satellite hookups, just like we had in the main living room. And then right over here to this side, this is your silver leaf panel. So you have two of these. You have one here. You'll have another one up in the cab. I'll show you in a little bit. But folks, this is basically the brains of the RV. This is how you control just about everything. You can see your power coming in, the gen set there, your water. You can change your thermostat, your in-floor heat. Basically, it's, as I said, everything from that one panel there. Over here on this side, again, you have more storage. These are adjustable shelves. 
And then if you take a look right here on the wall, you have your slide out control there. Underneath is your multiplex system again. The master bath in the 4531 is absolutely gorgeous. If you take a look, you can see again the solid surface countertops, the beautiful vessel bowls on here, the stylish backsplash right there as well with a giant mirror. Making your way over to the side, again, you have the multiplex panels right here. Up top, you do have some additional storage with an electrical outlet built in. And both sides also have their own hand towel ring, again, as you would expect on a double vanity. As we drop down below here, you can see some additional storage, and I love the wood. If you notice, it's a curved door here. It matches the uh, curvature of the countertop. Just really shows you some of the styling that they put into the coach. A couple extra electrical outlets there, and you have two full extension drawers right there in the center. Right down below is the bathroom courtesy light, as I had mentioned. That way, again, if you need to get up to use the bathroom, it is lit up. Also, right over here, take a look at this. We'll open this up. Stackable Whirlpool washer dryer right here. So you have to love that. It's convenient. It's out of the way. If you have guests, you won't be interrupting them by doing laundry. And right down underneath, you have a tiny little bit of storage right here as well. Over on the other side here, folks, take a look at this beautiful shower. This is one of my favorite parts about the bathroom back here. You have the uh, kind of the clear glass surround all the way around an actual shower door. When I step in, look how much headroom I have. You have the cathedral ceiling in here where the whole ceiling is basically barreled. So it really gives you a lot of extra head height. I'm six foot, I can stand in here no problem. You have the teak seat right over here so you can sit down. You have the beautiful tile floor right there as well as these walls which are absolutely gorgeous. You have a little footstep right over here so if you have to shave your legs you can put your feet up right here. You also have the grab handle to help with some support. You have the basket shelves right here and then you have the body spa. Right up top is your rain head, so that way, you know, again, you can really get that immersive experience. You have the body sprays both on the top as well as the bottom here. You have the foot wash right down below. And then you have this very modern and sleek hand wand right over to the side just to make washing that much easier. Right here is the Dometic Concerto toilet. Again, it is a porcelain bowl, so it's easy to clean. And right behind that is your egress door. In the event that you have to get out in an emergency, this is a great way to do it. And one of my favorite parts about the 2018 is behind this bottom panel, there is a ladder that drops down. That way you can easily and safely climb out of the coach. If we take a look right here in the very back, you will see your wardrobe. You have a dual hanging rod right here on the side. You can see all the shoe storage going across the center. And as we make our way to the other side, you see more storage right in the side there as well as a safe, so that way you have a place you can store all of your belongings. The driver's seat and passenger seat are both Villa Furniture, and this is a eight-way power seat with heat. That way, if it's a cold morning or you just need to soothe some sore legs, maybe a sore sciatic, you can turn the heat on and help comfort that. If we take a look at the armrest right over here, we can start to see some of our controls. Starting off, you have the Hadley uh, air management system right there. That will be for your air auto level. So in the event you're just staying for a night or two or you're somewhere where your hydraulic jacks cannot set up, then you can use the air level in order to level out the coach. Right next to that is your HWH hydraulic auto level system. And in front of that is your Allison 4000 six speed transmission. You also see controls there for your tag dump, as well as the three-stage engine brake that is equipped on this coach. You have two cup holders right here, so you have one for your coffee, one for your water, whatever else you want to put in there. And if you move up a little bit further from that, you see some of your lights there, as well as your power window, your air horn control, and your battery boost. You also have your parking brake and your power mirror there too. We take a look at the steering wheel here, you will see that the top has kind of that wood grain look, which is pretty nice. You'll also see that, as I mentioned earlier, this one is on the uh, Spartan K3 chassis. You have some of your lights here, your cruise, windshield wipers. This one also has power control. So right here on the back side on the left, this will control the tilt of your steering wheel. If you want to telescope in or out, that will be this one right here. 
Directly underneath that, this one has two lines, will actually be for your pedals. If you take a look down below, you can see those moving in and out accordingly. If we go back up to the dash here, one of the things I do want to talk about is this system right here. So this is uh, basically your digital dash, which is a really cool system. Obviously, you have your speed there, uh, your fuel, you everything else you would kind of expect. Right down here is something I really like, though. You have a tire check. So you can go from tire to tire, see exactly what the PSI is and the temperature of that tire. So I think that is a really nice feature. Also, you can have your uh, trip meter on here if you want to measure some of your trips. Diagnostics are on there, too. So basically everything uh, that you need for the operational part of the chassis and the coach, some of those extra things are tucked away in there. This one is equipped with the Comfort Drive. You can see that right over here. That you can turn the adjustment to whatever is most comfortable for you. Everyone's a little bit different, uh, but that is definitely a great feature to have. It really makes driving the S6 a breeze. Now, I showed you the power controls, but you know, if you have a couple different drivers, you don't want to have to constantly mess with it, right? It's like when someone sits in your car and they mess up your mirrors and mess up your controls. I'm sure you hate it just as much as I do. So what they have done is right over here, you actually have three different driver memories where you can just touch a button and it will move it to exactly where you want it. So uh, again, I think that is a very convenient thing to have. If we take a look right over here, you have your two 10 inch uh, monitors. So some great things we can do here. We'll start, start us off right here. So this is your radio, as you can see, uh, Sirius. It is Sirius ready. It also has the Rand McNally navigation. One of the things I really like about this is you can go into RV tools right here and you can put in the specs of your uh, particular RV. And I think that's very important. The reason is, if you go in here, you can actually put in, enter your height and your weight of the RV, as well as your length too. But the height especially is important because the navigation will actually route you around a lot of those low bridges to make sure that you don't damage your RV. So if you're not familiar with an area, that can certainly be a lifesaver. Uh, you also, um, whoops, turn navigation off. You also have the camera system here. So this one does have the full 360 HD camera. Lots of things we can do here. You can pick one individual camera if you want, and it'll show up right on this screen right over here. They are intertwined. So front camera, rear camera. We have the cameras in the mirrors, as well as the cameras on the sides of the coach itself. You can see I currently have the slides out. So not the best view there. But uh, again, that does allow you a lot of visibility. Now, if we take a look on the panel on the other side here, this is pretty neat too. You can view multiple cameras at the same time. So it'll actually split. You can have a four-way split. You will see everything around you. Or you can do kind of the bird's eye view, which you can see right here. Now, again, it's a little weird because we have the slides out, so it's distorting it a little bit. But while you're going down the road, this is an awesome view to have. Also, security-wise, if you think you hear a noise, you can take a look outside, make sure no one's creeping around the coach. For the uh, back, you have a couple different things. You do have the trailer cam here, if you hook that up. Also, you have three different angles that you can view out that back camera, just to kind of get the best perspective, uh, you know, based upon if you're towing or backing up into your parking space. Uh, right over here to the side, this will control basically your fans, dock lights, courtesy lights, gen set there, as well as your entry lock. Over to the side here, we have some of the visors and shades up front. Um, you also have your uh, heating and cooling for your dash right here. Now, in the Essex, folks, there is a two zone. There is one for your driver. There's also one for your passenger, which I will show you right over here. If we move over to the passenger seat, a couple things I want to mention. One, if you look at the width of the seat, so they call a queen size uh, seat in here, and it's much wider than your standard seat. I'm telling you, folks, I'm a pretty decent sized guy. When I sit in here, I have a ton of room on both sides. It's super comfortable here in the passenger seat. That way you can kind of move around and be a happy camper. Right over to the side here, you also have control of the navigation. So you see I have the camera right there. But folks, I can hit this right here and I can go right into that navigation so I can be a true co-pilot and navigate to where we want to go. You have the cup holder right down here, step cover control, so that way you have a spot you can put your step down. You have the shades on here as well, ceiling light, map light. Then tucked away right back here is your second zone. So again, the passenger can control their heat. 
You also have the little fold out table here so you can fold that up and have a little workstation or a place to eat. Now remember, as I said, this is a eight way power seat. It has a foot rest too. So if you want to lift that up, just put your feet up, not have them hanging down. You can really hang out in style and be comfortable. Let's take a quick look up top. We'll go around here and look at some of the storage. So we'll open this up. You see when I open that up, it has the uh, motion sensor light there, which turns on, which is nice. That way it's not wasting power or your uh, light. You can see it is also uh, strut supported for easy one hand operation. This is your Wi-Fi Ranger right here, folks. This is the Wi-Fi booster. The code is right there. So when you're hooking up to that, if you want to be able to boost that, that's the one you'll be looking for. That's the Wi-Fi you'll connect to. And again, it will boost that signal. So if the campground has a weak signal, you can still have a fairly decent one. Additional storage right over here. Again, kind of like we saw earlier in the kitchen, it has the chain on there so you're not smacking cabinets. 40 inch Sony Bravia TV right here. We saw the one on the Televator, but if you're sitting on that sofa, it's pretty tough to watch TV. So you have this one up here instead. As we make our way back to the driver's side, we'll open these two up. You can see the storage located right in there. Again, just like on the other side, a little storage right over here. And then the main brains of the RV right here. So up top, we have the WineGuard Traveler. Uh, that is your satellite system, which is great. Also, folks, just so you know, you can get Wi-Fi signal in here. If you want a Wi-Fi hotspot rather than just the booster, you can do that, but it is a service you have to pay for. However, again, then you have Wi-Fi no matter where you are at. Uh, right underneath here, we'll get into the Gerard Power Awning Control. This is for the over-the-air signal. So if you're looking just to get your local digital channels, that's what this one will be used for. As I mentioned, the satellite system right over there, as well as your security sensors. Down underneath, some of your security lights, as well as all the other drapes here for your, uh, your blackout drapes for nighttime privacy. Some of your window awnings are there as well. Both your uh, driver's side, your full wall slide, as well as the kitchen slide is here. You also have your exterior lights, your step. So if you want to lock that out, this is where you do it. Right over here, this is pretty cool. This is for diagnostics, folks. If something's going wrong with your silver leaf system, they can plug a little tool right into there. It'll tell you what's going on. And again, this is just like the control panel we saw back in the bedroom. While traveling and you have both slides closed on the Essex, this is the space that you will have. As you see, you do have a walkway all the way here into the back bedroom. If you climb over the bed, you do have access to the master bath as well. But you have good access to all of your prep space right in here. Making our way back a little bit further, you can also get into the half bath. You can see that swings open quite nicely. And you also have access to the refrigerator as you can open both sides. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at the outside of the Essex 4531. This one is built on the Spartan K3 chassis with the Numar Star Foundation. This one also houses the Cummins ISX 15 liter engine, putting out 605 horsepower at an impressive 1,950 foot pounds of torque. If we take a look at the front end here, you'll see the gorgeous one piece automotive bonded windshield. They have made leaps and bounds in uh, technology as far as the mounting of the windshields on coaches. And again, this that automotive bond will ensure that you won't have any leaks here, unlike the standard gaskets you often see on a lot of your class A buses. If you take a look up top right there in the center, that is part of the 360 camera that we saw inside. And then right here, this front end does have the diamond shield on there to help protect from any rocks or anything that get thrown up by other vehicles. That way it's not gonna scratch up the beautiful paint here on the front end. You also have the windshield wipers tucked behind this front cap. And the whole front cap does move forward so you can access the generator, which I'll show you that a little bit later. Right up front here, you have your bi-directional mirrors. You will uh, see that they do have the blinkers in there as well as your camera. So that way, again, as you're switching lanes, you can make sure you're covering all of your blind spots. To get into the Essex, we have the HWH hydraulic steps. You have three steps here, which is a big improvement over the standard two that you get because this eliminates you having to bring the extra portable step. You can see the step right there is nice and low. So even if you have bad knees, it's not an issue to climb up in here. 
Also, this one does have an excellent sensor on it to stop the step. So if you have a curb right here and the steps come out, as soon as it touches that curb, it will stop. It's not gonna grind the steps into the curb or anything like that. You also see you have the grab handle right here with keyless entry. So to get into the coach, you have the regular key, the key fob, and the keyless entry here. You also do have a doorbell, so that way if anyone comes up to your coach, you know, they can ring the doorbell instead of having to knock on the door. You have frameless windows throughout here, which are very nice as well. One, they just look a lot better. Two, the seals are tucked behind the glass itself, which oftentimes this bottom portion right here is actually painted, so that way your seals aren't getting beat up nearly as badly by the elements. Plus, the way they open, they essentially tilt open. You can kind of see where they tilt open here. That allows you to have the windows open even while it's raining. That way you can still get some airflow coming through so your coach doesn't get all stuffy, but you don't have a bunch of rainwater coming in. We take a look up top above the door. You'll see right there you have your door awning with an LED light. And if you take a look at the very top, you see the gorgeous Gerard Nova awnings built right into the front cap there. Those, folks, those awnings are fantastic. They're huge. They have basically a double pitch to them, so they really provide a lot of great shade. And again, you have the LED lights on there. You'll also notice you have window awnings. Uh, you can see the window awnings right there. Those are power too. And then if we come down a little bit further, look at the gorgeous paint on here. This is something that Numar does extremely well. They have the masterpiece finish. It's a BASF paint. Folks, there are five steps of cut and buff on the Essex. You want to talk about a beautiful paint job, that certainly does it. You have the two base coats. You have three coats for their primary color two for all of your secondaries and again that five step cut and buff process makes the paint smooth no matter where you run your hand on here so you can't feel the differences in the two colors and plus that way you know if all that paint even if something does kind of bump up against it you're not going to get the big scratch right away unless of course it is a super deep scratch Right here is your fuel fill. You do have dual side fuel fill, a 150 gallon tank on here. The great thing about having dual fuel fill folks is if when you're pulling up to that gas station, it doesn't matter what side you pull up on, you're able to get access and be able to fill up the coach. If the uh, gas station is dead, sometimes you can pull right in the middle, grab from both sides and fill it up at the same time. You have your lights right underneath. That way as you're backing up, you can see and make sure you're not gonna run into anything. And then right here, you have your Michelin tires. Uh, they're 22 fives on both the front and back. 365s up front, folks. They're wider tires up here, so you get better traction. 315s on the back. You also have the Alcoa Durabrite wheels on there, so that way they stay great looking. You don't have to you know, really do much polishing, just basically clean them up nice and easy. Also, 55 degree wheel cut here on the front axle, eight degree wheel cut on the rear steerable tag axle. As far as your weight ratios, the front axle is 20,000 pounds, your drive axle is 20,000, your tag axle is 14 for a GVWR of 54,000 pounds. If you're able to sneak right underneath here, it's kind of tough to see because we don't, uh, you know, we have the, the air taken out of the coach, but right up in there is a steel plate. And Numar does that because of where your fuel lines are right here. Normally in the event of a blowout, your tire would smash right through that fuel line, but they put that steel plate there in order to protect it. Making our way back a little further here, we'll open up some of our storage compartments. Chrome handles, by the way, I like having the chrome handles because with the painted ones, sometimes, especially, you know, if you have a ring on, if you're married, you know, if you have a big rock or something like that and you go to grab it, you start to kind of scratch up the bottom of that painted area. But having the chrome, obviously it's not gonna be an issue. They can take a little more abuse. Plus with the chrome trim on the bottom there, it really helps blend it in, just gives it a very seamless look. When we open the door up, right up front here is the Dometic fridge freezer. This is on a pull-out tray. You can pull this guy out just like so. You can control it right here as far as the temperature. So again, I personally would like using it as a fridge, but if you do want a freezer, you can drop the temp down low enough. It'll keep everything in here frozen for you. You can see you have the four separate compartments. Making our way down one further here. Open this up. This is one of your two power trays. You'll see it is a pass-through tray. It goes all the way through there so you can access it from either side. You have controls on doors on both sides too. Just touch a button, folks, to have that go in and out. Super simple. Another thing you'll notice is this right here. You can lift this up and drop this down. So if you do have heavier items on here that you want to slide in and off, it's easier to get at those. So just like we had this one right here, 
We'll open this one up. You see you have another one right here. This one is wider. So if you have, again, some larger items yet that you want to stick under here, you can do so. You'll also see the tiles. So you saw those beautiful tiles inside. They do give you some extras. That way, you know, 10, 12, 15 years down the road, if those tiles are no longer manufactured, you still have some replacements in case uh, you ha actually damage one. Then right here again, you have another really wide tray. This one is a manual tray, but uh, you know because it's only half length, it is super easy to pull out. And again, it's very wide, very usable. Electrical outlet up there too, folks. If you need to plug anything in, you know we have a, a tool cabinet. I'll show you in just a second, but that's a great place. If you have like a drill or something you need to plug in, you can go ahead and plug that in right there. And then right over here again, I talked about the tool cabinet. Here it is. You can see you have the pegboard all the way through here. You have the uh, stainless. Uh, drawers here, the shelves, that way anything you want to uh, store right there, you can. Making our way back a little bit further here, we'll open this one up. This is your DEF fill, 15 gallon tank. We have the fill again from both sides. So this one obviously is a direct fill into the tank. The other one I'll show you in just a second here. Right up top, this is your egress door. I showed you that when we were inside too. It's in the bathroom there. So with this, uh, you, when you open it up, and for the 2018, Numar has added a ladder in that door. It's a pretty big deal. It was a little bit tougher to get out before, but now it has a drop away ladder, so you can just drop the ladder right down and easily get out of the coach. And then lastly, right in the very back here, you'll see you have your two chassis batteries. You have your air dryer here, your fuel filter located right there too. Taking a look at the back end here, you see the beautiful wing up top there, as well as the gorgeous paint schemes. So that way as people are uh, behind you, they are in awe of your gorgeous coach. You also have the HD camera right here that we saw when we were inside. And then of course the engine right back here. So to open this one up, you have a little pull tab right here. Pull that guy down. This one is strut supported, opens up nice and easy, just like so. And this of course gives you access to your engine compartment. Now one of the things you'll notice is you can see the engine instead of having your radiator right here. And the reason for that is this is a side radiator. I'll show you that in a little bit here. Uh, but it definitely makes it easier for the maintenance side as a tech can get right in here. If we drop down below, you'll see the 20,000 pound hitch right here. So that way if you, you know, have a big trailer back here, this bad boy can pull it. You also have the camera connector right over here to the side for the Voyager there. You have your seven pin right over here and then the air brake connector there too. So as I mentioned, this one is a side radiator unit. And the couple big advantages to that, one is exactly what I said for serviceability. The other is the fact that it kind of acts as a ram air. You'll get more airflow by having it here on the side. More importantly though, it's drawing in the cool outside air rather than the engine air if it would have been located in the back. Right over here is that DEF fill that I had talked about. Again, as I said, it does have uh, two spots you can fill from. And take a quick look up at the top of the slide there. You can see the big slide out topper that is on there, folks. This is a huge full wall slide. I really like the slide out toppers on the Essex. They actually mount it to the side wall itself. And the cool thing about it, a couple of them. One is it's covered. One of the big problems you often have with slide out toppers is they get beat up really badly and after five to six years they droop, they're no longer uh, nearly as usable as they once were. Because you have the cover on there, it'll help protect it from UV. There's also a brush on the end of that cover too, so that way as it is coming back in, it brushes off the top of that slide uh, topper, so very cool. And then again, we also have the driver's side window awnings here. So we open this guy up. This, of course, is our wet bay. We'll drop down, kind of go through it a second here. Uh, this is your mana block right there. This is your essentially water and plumbing system. So the neat thing about this, folks, is you can close any of these off at any time. Makes it super simple for serviceability. You also notice right here you have both a gray and black tank flush. I highly recommend using both just to help rinse everything out, especially the black right there. And then your low point drains for those are directly underneath. You'll see the SantaCon system control right over here, tank monitoring panel there as well as the pump, uh, your water inlet so you can kind of choose obviously as far as what you want there. Outside shower here with both hot and cold water access. Toilet paper holder, I do want to show you that right there, sorry paper towel rather, not toilet paper. But that's where I'll put your paper towel for quick and easy cleanup. Right over here to the side, winterization. 
in the event you forget how to do it, folks, there it is right there. So that way you can't forget. Uh, it's a quick and easy reminder. I like that they do that. And they're talking about those A and B valves right here. They're talking about these two valves. You can kind of see them right there. Right there is your A. Your B is right down there. You also have a whole house filter right there. Behind that, you see the water pump located back there. It's quick and easy to get to for any serviceability. Right down here is your Thetford SantaCon system. Folks, if you're in a hurry, uh, make sure you take this off. Trust me, I forgot to do it once. I definitely do not recommend it. It does build up a lot of pressure and you'll have a huge mess. So make sure you take the cap off before you stick it in the ground. If you want to forego the macerator system, you just want to hook up your sewer hose, you can do that too. You can hook it up right there. And over to the side here is your uh, water hose. You'll notice that is on a power reel, so that way it's nice and easy to reel up. Right next door to the wet bay is our 50 amp electrical cord. And as you will see, that one is also on a power reel. You also see you have your uh, generator control right next to it. So if you do need to fire the generator up, nice and easy to do so there. You have a 30 amp plug right over here. If you want 30 amp, you can drop it right down there. And then the surge guard is also right there too. So that way if you do have uh, some electrical issues at the campground, it won't affect your coach. Your Oasis hydronic heating system is located in the bay next to it. This, of course, uses your diesel. This is what heats the coach. Now, bear in mind, folks, this one does have the electric heated floor as well as heat pumps in the AC. So if it's above 40 degrees, you can use those. If it drops down below that, that's when you would want to use your hydronic heating. We have our power trays, which we saw on the other side. We'll open these up so, again, you can see them right here. And then... Lastly, as we move right up here, folks, these are our eight six volt AGM batteries. So it is on a tray. You can pull those out for easy serviceability there too. Right up here is the other, <coughs> excuse me, the other fuel fill. As I said, you can fill that from either side. And lastly, in this front compartment right up here, we have the fuses here for the front half of the coach. You have extra fuses located right here in the door. And if you take a look right down below, folks, this is the control for the power slide to be able to access that 12.5K Cummins Onan generator. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Numar Essex 4531. If you're interested in this beautiful diesel pusher and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.